Hey everybody guys, so we're slowly starting to see the rise of incompetency and a destruction of any company that's trying to make it out there, uh, developing whatever they want to develop, whether it's a vehicle, a product, um, if it doesn't jive with uh, main YouTuber content, uh, it's going to echo throughout all the chambers. Now specifically with Fisker is after Marquise has made his uh, YouTube video of the worst car review and uh, a lot of the content that he has provided, the details, were inaccurate to start with. And uh, a lot of the good YouTubers who own Fisker have broken it down in nice detail, stating that some of the facts are not accurate. And most of the things he's saying is actually amazing for the vehicle. Exceptional software, which is being worked on. So what's happening right now is basically you have all these other YouTubers, like little puppets, they echo Marquez's statements, especially the last one, Salamander, whatever his uh, name is. He's got a fair bit, of, a fair bit of following, over a million. But the point is, is he's just echoing what Marquez is saying. Well, Marquez had a lot of things not right; they were not accurate. So when you echo somebody's inaccuracy, you're only snowballing a shitstorm. So for somebody that wants to purchase a Fisker and you're watching all these reviews you're second-guessing yourself you're asking yourself is this really worth it all the headache and pain and what if the company goes bankrupt now going bankrupt is a possibility nobody's denying that and nobody will know that for sure but showing the vehicle in a bad spotlight to start with and then having all other youtubers who have millions of followers kind of echo the negativity which is actually not accurate is just a really bad statement and we all morally live by code of ethics and we try to do the best as we can. But when you start on the wrong foot and everybody follows you, you're, you're, you're leading the whole pack nowhere. So with Fisker, they have their share of problems, uh, obviously from the financing, submitting 10K, submitting the financials, getting their ducks lined up, that's a different storm. Getting the software, that's a different battle. But everybody else is tagging along with the negativity which has nothing to do with the quality of the vehicle quality of the vehicle is actually really good if you watch the reviews of people who own fisker and who live with fisker they live day in and day out it's actually great things to improve yes worst car ever no now i caution you when you if you ever want to purchase a fisker once they get their ducks lined up then maybe consider it if that's something that you want but never go solely off of somebody that's giving you content stating it's a wrong car, it's the worst car, this and that always test drive it, try it out and never listen to anybody that's telling you otherwise cheers